A few weeks ago, I did a video on five undervalued stocks, and one of them was Activision Blizzard. So either I'm the smartest guy ever because Microsoft saw that and decided to buy Activision Blizzard because they watched my video. Uh, probably not. These things take many months, of course, to, to happen. So, But the good news if you own Activision Blizzard is your stock just went way up. But there's a concern here if you're a stockholder in Activision Blizzard or you're thinking about investing in them. And that's what we're going to explore today in today's video. Oh, by the way, in the description below, if you want to check out that 500 valued stocks, there's four other ones other than Activision Blizzard that I talk about as well. So let's talk about what's happening here. So Microsoft announced that it's going to buy Activision Blizzard, and they're going to pay $95 per share. It's actually an all-cash deal. It's the largest cash deal ever, is my understanding. So what that happened then is that Activision shares in one day, even though the market had a down day, Activision shares, Activision Blizzard shares jumped 25.88% in one day. Wow, that's great. Up to $82.31 per share. All right. Do you see the concern here? I went a little fast there. Did you catch it? Let's look at that again real quick. Microsoft's going to pay $95 per share, but the stock should have gone up to around $95 per share because that's once the deal goes through, that's what you're going to get if you own the stock, but it only went to 82. There's some reason why people are not jumping in even more on Activision Blizzard. So why is that? Why the disconnect? Let's look at some of the things that are some good things for Microsoft, but then let's talk also about why people are hesitant and why you might want to be a little hesitant too, uh, of whether you own the shares now and you want to sell, or maybe you think you want to get into the shares. So if we look at this deal you know, from the Microsoft standpoint, you know, there's some good reasons why they do it. If anything, they may have overpaid for it, people would argue. But it would turn Microsoft into, uh, my understanding, is the third largest gaming company in the world. It would give them extra strengths in many, many areas, supporting like their Xbox platform and the other gaming stuff they do. They would get these super strong brands from Activision Blizzard, World of Warcraft, Candy Crush, uh, uh, Diablo, uh, Call of Duty, I mean, and on and on, these massive franchise type brands, and they would also have all those brands. They would get a much stronger mobile uh, gaming presence too, something Microsoft struggled with. So they would get all of a sudden now strong in gaming, in mobile gaming. And then the big thing I think that's really driving this, and a lot of big tech companies are looking at this, is the metaverse, this kind of this virtual world, this, this potential thing that's going on out there. In fact, Facebook is so committed to the metaverse that they actually changed their name from Facebook, the company name, to Meta. So you're going to see a lot of big tech companies looking to grow into this potential metaverse or doing acquisitions to do this. So that's the Microsoft standpoint. But why don't the shares just jump from 82, you know, all the, or way, even more, all the way up to 95? What's holding it back? Well, there's concerns. And really the big concern, I think, settles, centers around one big thing, which is government regulation. Government regulation. This deal still has to be approved, and there's antitrust regulators on it that have to approve this. And what we do we know that's happening now today? Well, big tech is really in the crosshairs, right? There's a lot of scrutiny around big tech from being too powerful, from being monopolistic, from privacy concerns. There's a lot of regulators, a lot of folks looking very closely at big tech and having some very significant concerns. Citizens have the same, many of the same concerns. In the United States, we have a midterm election coming up in November. And one thing, you know, that Democrats and Republicans or liberals and conservatives, they don't agree on much, especially at the far ends of the extremes. But one thing they do tend to agree on is they don't like big tech, right? They hate big tech. And they don't like when, when big tech gets even bigger and more powerful. And Microsoft has kind of avoided a lot of that. It's been a lot more about like Facebook and Google and, and Apple and some of that. But you start adding in this, you know, now, you know, Microsoft has now put a spotlight on them as far as using money to just basically buy their way in. One big concern I know for a lot of gamers out there and, and people who use act or consume or love Activision Blizzard, you know, franchises is that those brands would start becoming exclusive to Xbox. So you couldn't play, you know, your Call of Duty on your PlayStation. You would have to buy an Xbox. 
from a business standpoint, I could understand that from Microsoft standpoint, let's, let's try to drive more people to Xbox, sell more Xbox and more Activision Blizzard type games that are now all part of the Microsoft umbrella. However, you know, that's something that's not only concerning for consumers, that's another reason for regulators to say, ah, no, we don't like that. We're worried about that being a potential. Microsoft will say, oh, don't worry, that won't happen. But once the deal's done, you know, then there's, there's potential for them. The other thing that's going to drive this too is other companies that want to compete in the metaverse and compete in that are going to lose their minds. You know, Facebook, Netflix, Apple, all of them could have bought, you know, Activision Blizzard. And for all I know, they might have been looking at them. Who knows? But, you know, this is a way for Microsoft to kind of jump ahead of them around that metaverse thing and certainly around the gaming aspect. So they got their whole teams of lawyers and stuff who are going to file briefs and supportive briefs for blocking this antitrust type thing. And you'll see the competitors really come out strong around this. So there's a lot of concerns around government regulation. And I think that's what's holding the price back. Now, Reuters is reporting that uh, there is, you know, there's nothing confirmed on this, but there's a, a $3 billion break fee. What that means is that Microsoft's saying to Activision Blizzard, if the deal doesn't go through, either we change our minds or more likely if there's government regulation and they say you can't do this deal, it's antitrust, it's monopolistic, no, it's blocked, then Activision Blizzard would get paid $3 billion. So that's a little bit of confidence for sure, $3 billion worth of confidence from Microsoft and maybe a future payday for Activision Blizzard. So either way, they're either going to sell, or the, which is going to be great for shareholders, or they're going to um, you know, get this $3 billion. So if we look at it, just in summary, you know, there's a pro and con here. You know, the pro is if this goes through, if you own Activision Blizzard shares, you're going to get $95 per share. Your shares will be bought out and you'll get $95 per share. So even if you're buying now, you know, in the $80 range, you're going to make that profit. And if you are own Activision Blizzard, maybe you've held it for a long time, you know, you're going to make even more profit. The con is that it's blocked, you know, particularly blocked by, for antitrust reasons. If that happens, the stock for Activision Blizzard will drop 25%. If it popped up 25%, it's going to drop 25% or more very quickly, within a day, certainly maybe even within hours, because the deal will be off and that $95 will be off. So that's the con of it. So it's all about... Will this deal go through or not at this point? You know, is it worth the risk? And that's the thing about investing. It's all about risk in the end. It's all about managing risk and taking risks. It could become a good payday for you, or you can end up being a loss, particularly if you're jumping in now where it's already gone up 25%, but you still have that room up to 95. So some real strong things to consider as far as with Activision Blizzard and that Microsoft thing. Uh, also, along the way until the deal is either finally done or killed, it's going to be very volatile. I think there's, you're going to start seeing some volatility. Any kind of rumor around, oh, it's going to get through the regulators, is going to send that stock price up. Up to around 95, that will be kind of the, the cap. It'll send that stock price for Activision Blizzard up. If it goes down, uh, it, if, if there's rumors that, uh-oh, government's really going after it, or the president says something that might be negative towards it, or whatever, uh, also they're going to look at approvals maybe in China and the European Union. Other places, too, might need some approvals. So any of that stuff where there's some hiccups along the way is going to send the stock price down. So it'll be a bumpy ride as you go too. So it'll be a fascinating thing to watch and you have to decide, you know, do you want to participate or not? You know, so I'm not recommending one way or the other. You can see there's a real strong pro and a real strong con for it as well. So either way, something for you to think about and maybe consider investing in Activision Blizzard or maybe even a little bit in Microsoft, which went down a little bit because of the big buy of this. If anything, again, they may have overpaid for it. So some things to consider around that investing. Okay, so if you like this kind of stuff, you know, we do all sorts of educational stuff around investing. So do consider subscribing to the channel. Check out that undervalued stock video with the four other stocks that I mentioned. It might be fun to kind of compare what I said about Activision Blizzard uh, while you're looking at that video as well, too. And with that, I wish you all the very best of luck.